Hello, my name is Andy Hamm. I'm a national event supervisor and we're going to talk about machines today. This is uh, Division C machines. We have a, sec a first class lever attached to uh, another class lever here and it is going to be used to find the ratio of unknown masses. In competition there are three masses given. They're labeled A, B, and C. And I have two of them here. And what we're looking at here is I have one mass that I would attach, say there, and another mass that I would attach right here. We'll, we'll attach this here. And you could use S-hooks, anything like this. And then we can adjust this and move this until I want to get this level. And once it's level, I can take these measurements from the fulcrum, in these cases, and apply a formula. And I might have want to move this a little bit or move this or figure out as that goes flying off, and this can just go right back onto here. I can move these around, and as students, I can go ahead and figure out a way to calculate what the ratio of the masses are of these unknown masses. And that's what we're looking for, a ratio of B to A and of C to B. If B is heavier than A, the ratio should be bigger than 1. If B is, less, uh, is lighter than A, the ratio should be less than 1. And we will use this setup as a lever balance. And once it is balanced, you can see here, if I put this here, it won't balance. If I put this way in here, it's clearly way up here. It's not balanced. I want this to be balanced based on the weights. And then the distances can be used to calculate those ratios. And what is the best way to calculate uh, that using that? There are physics equations that can be used. The students can look at uh, equilibrium, looking at static equilibrium. They can also do testing with known masses and then figure out the ratios. Uh, that way they could use lines of best fit and different things like that. So at competition, what you'll see happen is the students will come in, they'll have their device checked to make sure it meets the size requirements, and then they will have time uh, to do their tests. And they will be given A to B, uh, a, B, and C, there are three masses, and they need to set them up, do their measurements, write down the ratios, and then turn those in. These uh, masses will be different, but they're not labeled with what they are or anything, and the students cannot just sit there and heft them to try to figure out what their masses are. They need to use their device, and they're scored by how close the ratios are, as well as how fast they were able to complete the process. So they would be given three masses, they figure out the two ratios, and then the rest of the machine's uh, event, they're completing a written test on uh, machines, simple machines, and a variety of topics explained in the rules.